Hi there, thank you for stopping by. My name is Vikash Srivastava and in this video, I'm going to show you three simple steps for integrating ZDX with Splunk. The Splunk integration uses ZDX APIs to export data from your ZDX tenant into Splunk, which could be used for your compliance, custom reporting, or data analysis needs. So with that, let's get started. The first step of the process is to configure the API key. This key will give Splunk access to the data stored in the ZDX cloud. You can allow read-only access to this key for added security. So for that, you will go to Administration, API Key Management, click on Create New Key, and give it a name, give it a role, which you'd prefer, read-only, read-only with deep tracing. In this case, uh, read-only is what makes sense, and then save it which will give you a key ID and a secret. I have already generated that, so I'll not do this in this step. The next step is to define the data you're looking to pull from ZDX. You will need to call the appropriate APIs in order to get the data you need. For example, you might be interested in pulling ZDX score for certain applications. So in this case, let's go ahead and take a look at a very basic Python script, which calls the APIs pulling ZDX score for certain applications and prints the data. So here we have the script on the top, we have authentication going on. And at the bottom, we are calling certain API endpoints for a score of a certain application, the metrics, the page fetch time of that application, listing devices, listing users, and printing that out. Also notice that we have stored this script in a specific directory where Splunk expects these custom scripts to be there by default. So let's go ahead and run this script to make sure our script isn't throwing any errors. The script looks good. And now onto the final step where we would be configuring Splunk. So we are now logged into the Splunk server. Sure enough, we have the scripts in the bin scripts folder, which we had copied in there and ran it in the previous step. And now we will log in into the Splunk server and define the data input method. So click on settings, go to data inputs, scroll down to scripts, click on new local script. And here we will go ahead and select the script path. So it's bin script, script which we have saved here is automatically selected. Uh, we will set the interval to five seconds in this example. Now you can always come in and change it later to something more realistic, say 7,200 seconds, which is every two hours. Click on next. We'll select the source type as line to keep it simple in this example here uh, and scroll down, keep everything default, click review and submit. And that completes the process of defining the data source. Now let's click on start searching and see if we are seeing the data flowing from ZDX to Splunk or not. So click on start searching and here change all time to say real time view for now. And we should start seeing some data come in every five seconds here. And sure enough, we are seeing some user information, uh, some device information, page fetch time and metrics show up here. I hope this was informative and thank you for viewing.